So, I heard you wanna go fast. And we all know that 150 miles an hour is plenty fast. But there's just one thing. We wanna see that number on a Speedo on a budget. Well, I got four ideal cars and an honorable mention that are all complete speed demons. And you know what? It's great to see you guys again. Let's go. This car, well, the first car has been littered throughout videos here at Ideal Media. And it seems it's almost, almost always the answer. Do you know what car I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the Nissan 350Z. And there's no doubting it. The Fair Lady Z has become the sports car bargain. Not only has it aged gracefully, but the VQ35 HR V6 puts out 307 horses and 268 foot pounds of torque. Now, we all know that horsepower is how fast you hit the wall, while torque is how far you move that wall. And a ton of torque down low is the only way to go. Because not only will this thing scoot from zero to 60 in just over five seconds, but you keep that pedal pinned to the floor and make that VQ scream. And if you're a daredevil, look down at the Speedo and you'll see 156 miles per hour given this car isn't all about straight line speed. Oh no, because getting slideways is where the front mid-engine chassis really shines. So do I have you sold yet? Because if, if you can find a clean one, which can be tough, like this white 07 Touring for 9,400 bucks, which has power everything, leather throughout, VDC and limited slip, bigger wheels, and xenon lights, you will be cruising in style. And just trust me, there are cheaper 350Zs out there, but you'll wanna be careful because with this chassis, you definitely get what you pay for. So just make sure that you get a pre-purchase inspection and use the negotiation tactics I outline in the ideal car strategies, and you can pretty much guarantee that you will get an ideal Z or whatever car that may be. I'm gonna throw you guys a curveball, but <laughs> I know that you guys are curveball hitters because it would be easy for me to recommend a Hawkeye WRX since its top speed is roughly 150 miles per hour. But that is not the case today, boys, because we're gonna take a walk on the wild side and discover the weirdest Subaru ever. Here's something that you never knew you needed until now, the SVX, a Grand Tour that didn't sell because it was too expensive when it debuted. Now, back in the 90s, we all remember the JDM heroes like the Mazda RX-7, the 2JZ Toyota Supra, the Acura NSX, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, and the Nissan 300ZX. Yet, we tend to forget either on purpose or by accident that Subaru had an all-wheel drive dog in the fight as well. It definitely had unique design language that looked a lot like nothing else the manufacturer had ever put out before. And the 3.3 liter flat six brought about 230 horses to the party. I don't know about you, but there's something that I just really, really like about this car. Maybe I'm just weird, but since it's so unique, it would probably stick out in a crowd, unless that crowd can't see it, that is. Because if you max this puppy out, you're going to see 154 miles per hour on the Speedo, which is too fast to see. And definitely not bad for a forgotten Japanese Grand Tour from the early 90s. And with a quick search on Cargurus, it'll yield you a few under 5,000 bucks, like this 96 SVX for 49.90. So straight up, if you want something that people will constantly be asking you what it is, the Subaru SVX should be on the short list of cars you're considering. And before we get into the next car on this list, it's Max's favorite favorite time of the day, or part of the video, which is the ideal question of the day. If you were gonna be a box of cereal, what box of cereal would you be? Would you be Wheaties because you always want your face front and center? Oh boy. Or maybe Lucky Charms because you are always feeling lucky. I love me strawberry sniggles. Ooh, I hope nobody ever gets my hands on me. Let us know which box of cereal you would be and why down in the comments. I'm gonna have Max pick the favorite answer for Ideal Media and I'm gonna send you a tea. Now, if you aren't feeling lucky enough, you can always snag one of the Ideal Teas. Join the Ideal Fam up here. So I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna introduce you to one of my favorite, dare I say, ideal cars. And yes, it is a BMW. 
but I know a lot of you like BMWs. And the E46 330i is one of the best all around BMWs ever built. With ageless styling and an inline six motor that sounds the part, they've become an incredible value. Now I've owned not one, but two E46 M3s and it may be my favorite M car, but, but I have one huge gripe. See, although it had incredible performance coming from the S54 and it handled like it was on rails, there was something always missing. What was missing is that they never built it with a four-door version. I had a Cosmos Black E36 M3 that had four doors and a Silverstone E90 M3 that had four doors. And personally, I just think that four doors fit my lifestyle way better because we all know that four doors means more. <laughs> I'll let you fill in the blank. Luckily, BMW did build an E46 330i with the ZHP package. From the factory, it had 10 extra horses, different alloys, distinct bodywork, and Alcantara throughout the interior. I call it affectionately the Baby M3. And it's electronically limited to 155 miles an hour, just like every other BMW you know. But I just love them because they come with four doors and they're actually rarer than the E46 M3. Yet, if you look hard enough, you can find a bargain like this one for under seven grand on Bring a Trailer. So real quick, just so you don't get confused like me, the code ZCP stands for competition package and only came on the E46 M3, while code ZHP was a performance package and only came on the 330i. So yes, fire up Google and check out the ZHP 330i. I think I can see one in maybe one or two of your futures. Oh, and now it's time for that honorable mention. Hot hatches, as we all know, are a ton of fun. And although I wanted to put a GTI in here, I thought an honorable mention should be something a little bit more unique. Plus, I, I gotta keep you guys on your toes. So the Ford Focus ST slid perfectly into this slot because the little hot hatch is a blast to drive. And with the two liter EcoBoost pumping out 252 horses to the front wheels, this car should have gone down in Ford's history books as one of the best hot hatches ever. But unfortunately, the ST has sort of been left in the shadows or just kind of feels left out. Because it's bigger brother, the Focus RS sports Ford's legendary RS pedigree with class leading performance. And this little guy, the smaller, more nimble sibling, affectionately known as the Ford Fiesta ST, is a tad more fun to drive on the daily. But hear me out, because the Focus ST isn't a bad car at all. And right now, it's an incredible value. Because you can find this fun Ford in Ford Tangerine Scream Paint for 7404. <laughs> Let me tell you, no, seriously, let me tell you that this thing will scream all the way to 155 miles per hour if you give it enough space. And that two liter EcoBoost is a fantastic starting point for power and can be tuned into an RS killer. But that's another conversation for another day, not today. Chrysler has been known to do some dodgy things from time to time, like building the Dodge Viper from scratch, which left the company in some serious financial mayhem, or take their cute little compact commuter car, which we all know is the Dodge Neon, and turn it into this, an uber aggressive, turbocharged, four cylinder front wheel drive beast ready to lay some rubber. And oh baby, could these things do some front wheel drive burnouts with the best of them. With over 230 horses to the wheels, yeehaw! So how fast could you go in this puppy? Well, first we gotta answer how fast you can get into one. Because if you have four grand sitting around, you could be gone in 60 seconds. And that's without using the strategies. And the fact that this thing will hit 153 miles per hour means you can do dodgy things yourself. But if you really wanna go fast on the cheap, check out these five cheap kit cars that are super car slayers. Or check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But either way, you can't lose and as always keep living that ideal lifestyle.